Hi guys, good morning. So today is I've decided to vlog. So today in this vlog is a bit different because I have decided then I'm going to remove my mole in my nose. So as you can see guys, ito yung mole na itatanggalin ko dito sa ilong ko. So yeah, it's time to let go. I have this since when I was a child. So by the way guys, I forgot to mention, today is the 24th of February. And I'm already booked for my mole removal. So that will be coming this Saturday. And so again guys, I'll quickly show you. Tanggalin ko. As you can see, this is the one. Nandiyan sa ilong ko. So, medyo malaki na talaga siya, guys. So, I have to let it go. I know, this is our birthmark. And I've noticed na medyo malaki na talaga siya. Anyway, I will continue. <laughs> anyway, I will continue um, share it to you guys. Um, but I will see you later. So, close up guys. Ito yung mole ko. Hmm? Medyo malaki na talaga siya. So, I have to let it go. Hey guys. So, this is the continue of the vlog that I just... I actually decided to start to vlog this morning when I was in the car waiting before I go to work. So, I'm just going to quickly show you what is my mole look like when it's more um, light. Kasi medyo madilim kanina. So this is what it looks like guys. So I just finished my shower and it's getting bigger. So I've decided to remove this and I have to let it go. I remember I have this when I was grade 3. When I was a child, it's already big in my nose. It's, but it wasn't like big like this one. But now I'm here in Australia and I'm 30 years old. And I have noticed that the mole of my nose is getting bigger. So I've decided to let it go, guys. I'm, to be honest, I'm very, very nervous because tomorrow is my appointment for my mole removal. So I'm gonna probably, I'm gonna do the consultation first and then remove this. I have also one here, upper of my lip, and I have one here too. I actually don't have this before, but now look, tumubo siya. Because I've noticed if you have a big mole here, na parang nanganganak siya. So I decided just to remove this what's in my nose. And this one, I have to let, um, leave this and this one too. So this is actually cost 250 to remove for one mole. And then from the consultation, it's different pay. I am so really nervous, guys, because tomorrow is my appointment, Saturday. It's 9 o'clock in the morning. But I'm just gonna update you the before. So, yun guys, so I'll update you tomorrow morning and I will see you tomorrow morning. Hi guys, good morning. So, today in this video is I've decided to document and vlog. So, in this video is something different video. So today is Saturday of 27th of February and today is my appointment for my mole removal. So my appointment is 9 o'clock in the morning and very soon we're leaving now. And to be to, to be honest but to be honest guys, I'm very very nervous because I'm thinking hey, maybe so sakit niya. But then when I was a child, guys, um, I'll, let, I'll tell you the story. This mole in my nose, as you can see, malaki na talaga siya, guys. Since when I was a child, I already have this. So this is why my birthmark. And this one is already big when I was a child. It's not like this big. It's just a little bit. But you can actually see it that I have really a mole in my nose. And then when... Um, I didn't I'm not even bothering it when I don't bother that I have a mole in my nose 
but yes i bullied because of this sometimes they told me i have a flies on my nose because of this but i just didn't take it seriously because you know i try i accept that already that yes i have a mole in my nose and then when i was finished my college in high school i'm not bothering it and i didn't even think about it to remove it since when i'm here in australia i realized that hindi pala mangana sa kanila yung my mole dito so every time i meet new people when i talk to them they're looking at me and they start scratching their nose i didn't ask them but i know they're looking at my mole so it feels really awkward though but yeah so and i've noticed that my mole in my nose is getting big now so yes guys i have to let it go i've decided to let it go my husband was happy about my mole in my nose he doesn't bother okay lang sa kanya yung buko sa nose but yes but for me I think it's time to let go and my husband is very supportive for this to my decision to remove my mole and yes yeah, so he's coming with me today and I'm very very nervous yes and I will update you later guys once this mole I'll quickly show you closer so that's what my mole look like and i have also mole here in upper of my lips before it's only two and then after in a few years i didn't know that my mole na naman ako dito sa kabila you know if you have like a big mole nanganganak siya they give birth oh my god it's going here and then there's here omg so yeah i i have decided to remove this big mole in my nose so yun nga guys and yes so that's the story and quickly show mm. close yun guys yung look like ng mall ko ang laki niya diba yan so i'm just waiting for my husband and very soon we're going to it's called advanced cosmetic medicine dito sa adelaide so I booked this last week. Supposed to be they want to do it Monday, but because I'm working, so I decided to do it on Saturday, which is my day off. Because next, so my husband can come with me as well. Because I love to him, I love him to come with me during this procedure. And yeah, so I will update you later, guys. Once it's finished, um, see you later. So guys, I'm here in the car now. So. Um, very very soon pupunta na kami we're going to my appointment to advanced cosmetic medicine here in Adelaide so since I'm out since I'm outside back guys I'll show I'll show you more bright and clear here the mole my mole so you know from before and after so this is what it looks like the before and you can see the mole in my upper lip and this one here but I'll decide to remove the big one in my nose because I have noticed that since when my age keeps going up my mole is up as well my mole is getting big as well so yes it's the birthmark and it's time to let it go I'm very very nervous guys because uh, the first is and this is kind of probably very painful and hopefully and if it will not take long to heal so yeah so guys I'm very nervous talaga this feeling I have right now is nervous because uh, I that I have my per se I have my surgery before that was my um, I have a cyst removed in my right breast and then now decide to remove the mole in my nose always something nobody's really perfect talaga guys no ay naga pimple pa ako dito I always had a pimple and when my period's coming
and today it looks like it's gonna be a nice day today guys and today is actually I think it's 28 degree here in Adelaide and I'm wearing this because it's still early in the morning and it's cold outside and my appointment is very early 9 o'clock so yeah guys I will update you later but once we get there and I'll try to vlog no maybe I could ask my husband to video while doing the procedure but hopefully he will say yes so yeah guys I will update you later see you later Hi guys, so we're home now. So as you can see, this is the after. My band-aid na siya guys. So um, the procedure wasn't take long. Um, usually the doctor target, she's doing really good. She's very good. Um, thank you so much doc. So uh, we're home now, my husband's just went out. So I'm just telling you about what happened the procedure. So before I start the procedure, I have to read a lot of the terms and conditions and then sign it, my signature. And then after I read the conditions, then the doctor will ask me any questions if I have any allergy or something like that. And then before she start the procedure. So this is the after. So she can see the before and after. So... Um, she will actually ask me before the procedure if I decide to, I have to remove some the mole up from my lips as well. Because there's a possible, it's going, it's going to get big as well. But just for for now, I decide to remove the one in my nose. So I'll just leave this in the upper of my lips. If I've noticed it's getting bigger, then yes, I will decide to remove it. So, yun nga guys. And the first step, procedure wasn't take one hour. So... First, she used the anesthetic, and thankfully, anesthetic was really good. Without the anesthetic, probably you could feel the pain. And the first anesthetic, I actually feel the pain. And then after the anesthetic, and then when she start remove the mole of my nose, I don't really actually feel any pain. And the doctor told me that she have doing a lot of procedures. Sometimes there's a 10 moles in the face and then mine is actually very interesting when she removed the mole of my nose like she said it was really big and deep as well and then there's something black spot inside the mold and she told me there is a possible it will grow back again because of that black thing inside and it's really deep so she decided to remove the black spot inside sa mold ko kasi that's what she says possible it will grow again and yeah so i think she did her best and she i think she removed and then instead of putting she used the stitches because it was really deep that's why she used the stitches and after the procedure I, she wasn't expecting it will take it, she thought it will take few minutes but she didn't expect it's actually take long so yeah nga guys, so she showed me the mole when she removed it. Oh my god, I can't believe it. She showed me the first I was like OMG, I don't have the mole on my nose. So yeah, so the nose of my nose is already gone. And then about the healing, it will take um after 10 days i have to go back there again because she has to remove the stitches in my nose and the mouth in my nose and then after that is i'm going and before shower she give me something to take i have some tablet as well to take for the painful so she gave me prescription for the pain so i have to take this and then before shower is i have to use this one before and after shower that's what she that's what the receptionist told me and then next this one is for the scar therapy so as you can see 
So it's, this is a scar therapy gel. Once all the scabs is gone or something like that, um, I have to use the uh, scar therapy, the, the gel. So yeah. So, and during the procedure guys, I don't really feel any pain at all. And because of this anesthetic, thanks for the anesthetic. But then, now I'm home, I can actually feel pain now. Yes, right now, it's painful. I could feel the pain now. So I'm going. I'm going to work Monday, and I've decided to buy some masks because I buy a mask because when I go to work, I decide to wear a mask because you know I'm wear, I work in an aged care and I need to keep this. I have to keep look look after this, and I have to be make sure this one keep it dry. Because otherwise, if it's get wet, I'm gonna get infected. So I have to keep it dry, body, and just washing my face like that, just to keep it dry. That's what the doctor told me. So you guys, this is my mole removal in my nose after 30, 30 years of this mole in my nose. It's gone. As what they said, it's better to have scar than a black mole in the nose. The doctor showed me the mole. It was really, oh my god, it's weird. It's just all OMG. So yeah, I'm, so I'm just gonna have a rest today because the doctor told me I have to avoid anything physical activities because it might going to get blood. So stop doing pressure because probably it's gonna bleeding. That's what she told me. So that's my um journey for my mole removal and after 10 days guys i will update you about this about the moving the stitches and then when how is the scar i will update you so you guys so i'm gonna close this video now i'll show you quick um close up this is the one she put the stitches and i have to use a mask to go to work that's the one Mm -hmm. Hi guys, so update. Um, today is Tuesday, so today is actually my day off, and I'm just gonna quickly show you for um, update. So today is gonna be my. So I did my mole removal Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, three days. So as you can see, I still have my band-aid so every time i wash my face i have to be make sure to avoid to get wet here because i have to keep it dry so today happened is it was itchy my nose here so i just scratch it and i didn't mean it so i think i brush i push really hard and then the pain is touch thing in my nose so ngayon sobrang masakit siya ngayon guys hi guys welcome back to another video so today is 10th of march wednesday so today is gonna be my the day of my stitch removal for my mole so as you can see of my previous vlog that I had my mold removal last week, last Saturday, and the doctor told me I have to go back after 10 days to remove the stitches. And yesterday was actually my 10 days. So today, Wednesday, is the day to remove stitch removal. So I don't know if it's hurt or not, but I'm here in the park so just waiting for my appointment because the follow-up appointment is about around 3.45 and it's still about 2.50 here so just waiting and I'm still wearing my uniform because I just finished my shift but anyway guys I will update you later about my stitch removal so as you can see I will show you closer tignan yung bandage ko guys basa na dito but here, I, I'll make sure this area here is dry. But I think it start scab na siya. I think it's healing. Because look at that. 
is turning scab na. So yan guys, so I can't wait this off because it's been like 10 days I haven't washed my hair because of this. So yan guys, I will see you later. Let me show you close uh, about my molly move. So as you can see, ito pa yung mayroong my stitch. So as you can see, nag next to start scab na siya. I don't know if you can see clearly. Sorry for my <coughs> pimple. Sorry, yun guys. So I can't wait this stitch remove later. So the time here now is 3 p.m. And then grebele. Yummy, yummy, and my tummy. Yummy, yummy, and my tummy. Ah. Oh my god, guys, I can't wait this bandage remove this one i had this since like nearly one week now and i'm so sick so guys so as you can see the stitch is already removed so finally after one week natanggal na yung stitches but as you can see this is what it looks like it looks so different but hi guys so as you can see natanggal na yung stitch sa ilong ko so this is what it looks like after the stitch removed so i'll show you close up so she put um scar gel this is called scar gel and but the doctor said i still have to cover it if i go for shower just to keep it dry so that it will heal quick and the doctor said it will heal about two to three weeks but mine is already start scabbing though she removed the scabs and yes guys this is what me look like after the mole remove stitch remove the remove ano na close i look so totally different and the doctor told me i look better without the mole i look so much better now without it so I asked the doctor what it is it looks like when it's healed what is the scar look like she said it's just lying but <sighs> anyway I'll see you later guys hi guys so I'm back so today is Wednesday 11th of March so I just been to Today was stitch removal of my mole removal. So as I mentioned, I had this removed last week, Saturday. And after 10 days, I have to go back to see my doctor to remove the stitch stitches. And that is today. So as you can see, this is my nose look like after the mole, mole removal. So as you can see from before and after. I'll show you closer. So that's what it looks like and the doctor told me and I have to use this one after the stitch remove. I have to use this before shower and after shower and then scar for J therapy gel and then after three to four weeks I can use bio L to reduce scarring. So I'm gonna go to Big W and buy some bio oil. To reduce scarring, especially if the scar is thick, so that's also a good recommendation to use that too, so that to reduce the scar. So this is me, a new. I'm like a different person, a different person, Rose. So I'm happy. I'm very happy. And after in a few weeks, in a few months, once it's get healed or something, I will update you about it. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching of this video, and I hope you like it. And if you want to see more of my uploads, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And yes, yeah, so I will see you on my next video. Bye. Hi guys, so I'll just gonna show you for update of my mole removal. So as you can see, this is what my nose look like without the mole. So what do you think guys? Uh, my husband doesn't usually get used to it with without my mole. 
because since he met me, I already had my mole. So, parang nabaguhan lang siya, guys. So, yeah, so I'm just gonna show you up an update. So, at the moment, I'm using the wound dressing. So, it looks like an ointment. So, I can't use the scar gel yet because I have to wait until when the wound is closed before I can use the scar gel. Show you, show you closer. So, that's what it looks like now. Mm. 